Hi guys, so I have a whole bunch of products in front of me that I haven't tried yet, they're new to me. So I'm going to jump right on in so that this video isn't more like a movie, lengthwise anyway. Um, so I do have the Essence Super Last 24 Hour Eyebrow Pomade Pencil. So it says it's waterproof. 24 hours for those of you who know me you will know I don't wear my makeup for 24 hours so on this end I think I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see it's like little spikes rubbery spikes so I'm guessing that's to make it look more natural um who knows on the other end it is a twist up pencil so I'm gonna go straight on in I'm not going to like be too OTT with them because I can always top it up later it's just so that I've kind of got the guide for my eyeshadow yeah I see why you would need to use the uh, rubbery bit to get more natural looking hair streaks I guess you will have to excuse the state of my skin um, I had a massive kind of acne breakout. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to cover it up. But the foundation that I do have to try is more of a natural foundation. So I'm hoping the concealer is a, a good one for hiding things. Yeah, this definitely is not going to use hair strokes from this so it is more pomade so I'm guessing the little scratchy thing is to just to make them look more natural but for now we're just getting something on oh there's also a sharpener in there if you pull this rubbery bit off you got a little sharpener so let's see if we can just go through these with the little spiky bits. Okay, that's going to do for now. I don't have a new eye primer to try, so I'm going to just pop on my P. Louise Base Pro in Rumor 02, and then we'll carry on. Okay, so the palette we're going in with today is, whilst not technically new, still new to me, and it is from Odin's Eye, is the Norns palette, the Norns eyeshadow palette, and this is the colour story here. Um, I am going to first dip into Obsessed. It's one here. I'm just using one of my fluffy brushes from Artitude Cosmetics. These brushes are amazing. I do have one other, one other, two other Odin's Eye palettes, well actually technically three because I have another one that I will be doing a collab with very soon. Collab with another creator that is. <laughs> um, but the two I've tried I've loved. I am going to go over the edges with the only pale um, matte that there is because this is very shimmer heavy there's from what i can see one two three four mattes so we're quite limited in kind of shade options for the mattes but that's okay i love these kind of movie almost like grayed out dusky purpley colors there you go guys I actually tried to explain <laughs> tried to explain the colour properly this is gorgeous 
and that will do it for now so i'm going to take another one of the um brushes from um artistry cosmetics and i'm going to go into oh i called that obsessed it's not it's called mist wow i was reading below them the names are above the shades i just used mist and now i'm going in with dazed and i'm just going to use that just to uh just soften blend the edges of mist out a little bit it's not typically a color that i would normally use but we are very low on mattes so i am i'm just going with just going with it who knows who knows apparently it's never me all right and then i'm just going to take some more of mist and i'm just going to concentrate that right in the crease hmm. I'm going to go in with, make sure I pick the right name, Outsider. And that's on a kind of slanted, fluffy brush. I'm going to concentrate that on the outer part of my lid here. And then kind of into the lower part of the crease there. It's okay, these are actually blending all right. Hmm. There's a fair bit of kick up in this shade, I will say. But that's fine. I don't mind a bit of kick up. Okay. Is this going to look like I've been punched in the eye? Maybe, but yeah. We're going to go with it for now. Just taking that in the lower part of my crease. I will go back in with mist to make sure that it's all blended. Um, yeah, just getting it on there for now. And then just going back in with mist. Just taking a tiny bit on the brush and I'm just going to go over the edges there. Edges join just to make sure it's not kind of harsh or anything crikey my skin looks awful well it's a perfect time for testing out a foundation then um although i do have to say the foundation i believe is a natural finish so it's going to put everything to its test really can it cover can it cover who knows right let's go in with some shimmers right so i'm just going to go in with a just a morphe flat but fluffy brush i am first going in with hallucination and i'm going to try it without spraying or anything first because i want to see what it looks like oh okay Oh, okay then do we need to spread i'm not sure we're gonna need to look at that it's a kind of creamy texture i'm getting a lot of fallout but then i am i'm not being careful i can clean that up easy enough that is stunning I love that. I am going to nip into um, Colourful Black just to deepen. I'm not sure if this is like a satiny or what this is. It's very kick uppy. So I just want to take this just on this very outer part here.
gonna deepen that off a little bit more okay and then quickly nip back in with outsider the kind of tealy color just to kind of soften those edges there and let's grab a bit more of mist I'm just going to take that right over the edge and just take it outwards. Okay, all right, back to the shimmers. I am going in with Self. And I didn't see what the last brush was, did I? It was just a Morphe flat brush. And this is a Morphe and Madison Beer flat brush. Flat but fluffy. Um, so I'm going into self with that and I'm going to place that on the inner part and this looks to be quite duochrome this shade and it's beautiful Um, I'm loving this shade. Ooh, this has got teal in it as well. Like blue, purple, teal. This is beautiful. And yeah, this is with no glitter primer, no spraying of the brush. Loving it. I'm going to take the brush that we had heel on and I'm just going to kind of pat that over the edge of that black a little bit so I'm going to take this peaches and cream PC 22 and I'm going in with that colorful black and I'm just going to flick it into and flick it out a bit more I'm going to bring that just in along the top of the uh, shimmer there. Back in with Outsider, the kind of tealy shade. Just want to make sure that that's not lost in this black. Okay, I'm going to nip off and clean this up and then I will come back and we will continue. So just stay where you are. Okay, so all cleaned up. I'm going to make a start on the base. I do have a new to me primer. It's the Revolution Star Primer. It says water gel primer with anise extract. Soft focus primer, hydrating water gel. Okay. And it's got a pump. Ah, there we go. Oh, it's actually blue. Oh, okay. And it smells like aniseed. Oh my God, it reminds me of these like drink shops that the name of them escapes me right now. Um, oh my gosh. That is a, that's a real strong smell. Uh, wow. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that. If you don't like things with a strong smell, or if you don't like aniseed, you won't like it. Whew. Yeah, that's very, very strong. Very strong. Wow. Whew. Hopefully that smell will die down. Okay, so I have had this in my box of shame for a little while. Um, it is from Essence. It is the Pretty Natural Hydrating Foundation. Um, obviously, it's not going to, I don't think, be a full coverage 
and hopefully I have got the right colour. It's not looking bad. Fingers crossed. Here goes. Uh... Oh, okay, yeah, no, the colour's absolutely fine. Oh, okay. Well, I wasn't expecting coverage like at all, really, from this. Yeah, it's, uh, I mean, obviously it's not like completely covering anything and I'm not sure anything bar kind of face paint, like really thick face paint will cover everything. But so far, so good. Look closer. Okay, this is actually looking really really nice no i did it's slightly off the color but nothing that's gonna kind of be overly noticeable really especially when the rest of the makeup's on so it definitely is more kind of blurs the issue rather than cover but that's fine so once my skin clears up i think this is going to look you know how well you can see it's going to look really nice yeah i think this is looking nice yeah it's looking nice and it does look very much like skin yeah i'm I'm actually really happy with how that's looking. So the new to me concealer is from e.l.f. and is their Flawless Concealer. I've got it in the shade Light Beige. So that's just going to... Okay, yep, yeah, no, it's looking like a good shade match. So let's let's see what this does. Okay, I'm not mad at that coverage at all. I think considering it's going over some pretty big angry acne, <laughs> that it's actually doing a pretty decent job. Yeah, I think that's that is looking really nice on the skin. I am quickly going to pop in with a bit of my Too Faced Born This Way multi sculpting concealer just because I my acne is really getting to me. So if anything's going to cover it, it's going to be this. Yeah, so I'd say that the Elf concealer, whilst really lightweight and kind of skin like looking it definitely doesn't have the coverage that my Too Faced one does and I wouldn't usually kind of go in with another one but I'm feeling particularly uh, conscious of my acne scarring let's just say that acne scarring just acne so I'm going in under the eyes with the elf one um, I have high hopes because this does seem really lightweight so I just want to put it to the test here okay well this doesn't feel like anything under the eyes. If anything, it just feels like it is hydrating. So I am not mad at that at all because my under eyes dry out so easily these days. It's almost like my body's gone, right, you've turned 40, now everything's just gonna get like go downhill. 
I'm feeling a bit traumatic about it, obviously. Um, that's looking pretty good. We've got a pretty natural looking base. I'm loving it. Right, so I don't have a cream contour, cream bronzer. So I'm going to go in with my Huda Beauty Tantor uh, Contour and Bronze Cream in the shade Light. I love this. It is beautiful. I really don't need much. I don't think anyone really needs much. Um, it is so, so nice. Formula is really good. Well, which you would expect, well, yeah, which you would expect <laughs> from a higher end brand. I always feel bad kind of recommending a lot of these higher end ones because they're not affordable. I was very fortunate to have received a lot from friends that have got like the wrong colour or just didn't like it, etc. Um, but yeah, I always feel really bad like recommending expensive stuff but i really love it so i do have a cream blush to try this is the revolution fast base blush cream Ch what's it say there i haven't got my glasses on uh cream color for cheek and lips and i have it in the shade blush and it's a kind of twist up one so i'm just going to take a bit of that and I'm just going to dot that kind of on the outer part and up. Okay, so this is a really nice buildable formula. Let me have a look in here. Oh, it's going on really nice and it's quite balmy definitely giving the skin a really nice glow really nice glow oh i like that that is nice i do have a kind of cream highlighter to try this is from morphe is their dimension effect highlight stick and I've got it in the shade Effect 2, which is kind of like a champagne-y colour. What kind of brush do I want to put this on with? I'll use one of my eyeshadow, eyeshadow primer brushes. It's not. It's a Spectrum A29. And I'm just going to kind of dab over that a little and then just kind of stamp it on. never have too much glow okay. so it takes a bit of picking up on a brush but then i have got a really kind of flimsy brush that i'm using but yeah it's uh i'm getting there yeah, it's a real nice kind of lit from within glow Okay, this would also be really nice if you are having kind of one of those no makeup days, but you just put on kind of a really, what do you call it, like a, like a BB cream. This would be really nice for that also. It's building up. Okay, I take that back. This gives a really, you can get this intense. I'm loving this. Okay, so I'm going in with a new Timmy powder. This is the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Setting Powder in White Sands. Right. So it just looks like this. So what I'm going to do is quickly make sure that under my eyes is... That looks really nice under my eyes, that concealer. I'm, I'm loving it. 
and then I'm just taking a tiny bit on a made by Mitchell MF2 it's the brush that I always use to kind of sit under my eyes and now it's kind of a case of please don't ruin my makeup I'm hoping that this is Ooh, crikey I'm hoping that this is nice so we could have gone all the way through that to only ruin it I'm just taking it on this little brush just kind of around my t-zone where I get the most oily or where I get oily I don't really get oily anywhere else anymore kind of around my chin and then I'm just going to go in with a big fluffy brush and this is a big powder brush from Artichoke Cosmetics I am that was way too much powder I am loving the Artichoke Cosmetics brushes they are beautiful and whilst yes I am a a brand ambassador I bought them myself and I love them they're so super soft it is unreal okay I would say it's matte it's definitely a it's definitely mattifying I've gone from glowy to flat very quickly right, so just having a look up close yeah that's uh, it's very matte but I am going to try and bring some glow back so I do have my hands on the correct one this time um, this was something I saw Make Me Up Missy use and wanted it. So it's the Revolution Pro Skin Finish. I have it in Luminescence. If I can get into it, why can't I open it? Well, that wasn't easy to get into. So this is what it looks like. So I'm going to just dab my brush on it and go over my face. Oh, okay. panic over this is giving me that really nice glow back okay panic over this is really nice my skin looks really glowy okay this is a a big win loving that so i'm going to quickly spray over my face with the tarte maracuja miracle mist i love this it is such a really fine mist all right so i'm going back in with the brow pencil just gonna see if I can sort these out quick okay so I am I'm happy with how they're looking I actually I quite like this okay so let's continue with the eyes so I am going to I'm going to go into outsider and I'm gonna take that on this Jessup 226 smudger any little smudgy brush would do I'm gonna keep that against the lash line I'm just going to kind of smudge it out with this little fluffy but flat smaller brush from Ashtu Cosmetics. 
but I'm just going to go over the edges and just really kind of smoke it out so that it's not so it's not kind of a blunt line. So I'd usually pick another shade to do this with, but we're kind of limited unless I want to go in with that grazy kind of one, which I don't. I'm going to go in with the inner corner first and I'm going into pink chameleon and I'm going in with a cracked pencil brush and I'm just going to be oh okay this is beautiful when they say chameleon shade they are not kidding wow okay that was not not what I was expecting, like, at all. This is really kind of soft, creamy formula. I am loving this. I'm just kind of following it up along there a little bit. It's like almost like green in one light and then pink and peach. That is absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to just drag it. I'm just using, sorry, a Morphe M149. Hold it the right way up. beautiful and I'm going to take a tiny bit of that when I say tiny I clearly mean not so tiny okay that is stunning absolutely stunning Okay, so I don't have a new liner or mascara, so I'm going to quickly pop those on and then I will be back to continue. So again, just stay where you are. Okay, so I finished my eyes. I'll just quickly let you know what I used before we jump into the rest of the face products. So the black liner is from Madage Beauty. It's their liquid eyeliner black. Um, I did receive this in PR, I love it, um, to tight line I used the Fatal Beauty Black Like My Soul eyeliner, this was a free gift also, pop them aside, um, the mascara I used is the Catrice Glamondol Easy Wash Off Power Hold Volume Mascara, I have it in Ultra Black, this is only my second time using it but yeah I'm pretty impressed and lastly in my waterline I went in with the Colourpop cream gel liner in the shade insomniac um so yeah that's what's oh no also <laughs> the lashes are from glam light and they are the gingerbread lash um I'm not sure if you can get them anymore but I love these we have a poppy in the room so apologies if you hear her so the bronzer i'm going in with is from jue jue i don't know how you pronounce it and this is their light to medium bronzer duo and these are the two shades i'm going to be going in with this side which i believe is the slightly deeper one we're about to find out um I've had this for for a while and I just I don't know why I kept overlooking it I 
Okay, so definitely a buildable rather than very pigmented. I don't know how much this is doing. I think it's, uh, I think it is. <laughs> Who knows? Um, yeah, it definitely is. That looks nice. Let me use this mirror. And I might be able to see better what I'm doing. Yep. Okay. That seems nice. It is on the lighter side of light to medium, I would say. But I love this packaging. So the blush I'm going to be going in with is from Tarte and it is in the shade Quirky. I love the imprint. Look at that. That's cute. I like that. I'm a sucker for little imprint things. Ooh. Okay. It's not too pigmented, so I am able to build up. That is a pretty colour. That's a really pretty colour. I don't know if the lighting is slightly off either side. Um, I do still need to get my other light box, soft box, Set up the other side um, but for now we have the window one side and a soft box the other so I'm hoping that that looks all right yeah I like that and for highlighter again this has been sat in my box of shame for a while is the Elamasca Beyond Powder highlighter in the shade Deity, what it looks like in the pan. I have heard really good things about these highlighters. Oh, we did have quite a good glow anyway from the Morphe, um, the stick highlighter, the cream one. Yeah, this is definitely. Oh, okay. I like this a lot. Okay. And I'm just going to quickly go over with the blusher brush just to make sure the two are kind of melted together. Okay, this is beautiful. I'm a huge fan of this. Okay, so I'm going to be trying out, it's the e.l.f. Sheer Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Praline Petal. So let's see what this does. Oh, it's got one of these kind of petal shaped things. I actually had like a few lipsticks to choose from. Um, so I asked my daughter to choose and I think she chose pretty good colour. Yeah, it definitely says this is sheer. Okay, so I am loving this so far. The colour is perfect for this look, I think. And it feels really comfortable so definitely going to be testing this out some more um yeah i think i have liked everything there's definitely a few that i'm gonna want to test out a bit further um the foundation for one obviously there was nothing covering my acne today so it is what it is but i'm loving how it is all looking um, so yeah, fingers crossed. So yeah, I'm loving how it is all looking and 
I am now going to go get myself a drink and pop my feet up. So if you've liked this video, please do give it a like, thumbs up, that really helps me out. If you are new around here, if you love colourful makeup, if you love supporting indie brands and maybe want to discover some indie brands that you hadn't heard of before, then please do hit the subscribe button, come join us. Um, I have the best bunch of subscribers ever, so you'll be joining just a wonderful group. I'm biased, I know, but I really have the best subscribers. So yeah, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're having a great day, great evening, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.